Now it's a very important question. Five three eight into eight plus five three eight into two. Now you see that there is nothing like making a zero. Here we are not going to use the associative or commutative property. Here we are going to talk about the distributive property. How we can use that distributive property here? You know that a into b plus c can be written as a into b plus a into c. And earlier we talked that we can do it vice versa. So if this can help you writing like this, you do that. If this can help you writing like this, you do that. You just need to make the question easy. So there is nothing like uh, necessary that do is in this way. You can do this in this way also. And if you see the question, this is just like this. Here you can see that this 538 can work as A. This can work as B, this can work as C. So how you can write it? You can write it like this. 538 into 8 plus 2. That is 538 into 10. We got the 0. Answer. 5380. So just find out the way to find, uh, make the 0. Here we can see that this is the distributive property. Whenever you see a common number there, you can use the distributive property. Here. A more question for the similar type. Seven eight six nine into ninety two plus seven eight six nine into eight. Again, we see that they are having a common number seven eight six nine. So what we'll do? We'll write down like this seven eight six nine into ninety two plus eight by the distributive property. Now by the distributive property, we can write it as seven eight six nine into ninety two plus eight. That is hundred. So this is seven eight six nine two zeros. The answer. This is the easy multiplication by distributive property. Now we have to multiply 25 by 103. 25 by 103. So 25 multiplication 103. Now how we can make the zeros? Yes, we can make the zeros. How we can do that? Can we write this 103 as 100 plus 3? We can write down 100 plus 3 here. Okay, now we are going to the use the distributive property in this way. In these questions, we were using the property in this way. Now we will use in this way. Now this 25 into 100 plus 25 into 3, that is 2500 0 plus 75. It means 2575 five answer. It's an easy multiplication 25 into 103. So just write down 100 in two parts. Okay, 100 plus 3. Then use the distributive property for the multiplication. You have a very easy multiplication. Now let's change away. 25 into 99. For the 99, what we can do? Can we write down 99 is a 90 plus 9? Yes. But what's the profit? It will not give you the answer, easy answer. It will give you the answer, but not easy answer. So what we'll do? We will write down 25 into 100 minus 1. This 99 we write as 100 minus 1. Now use the distributive property. As we know, the plus or minus whatever it is, distributive property will be followed. So 25 into 100 minus 25 into 1, that is 2500 0, 0 minus 25, that means 2475 answer. Again, an easy multiplication of 25 by 99. 